How much attention do you pay to your smell? The reason I'm asking you this is because you could be a 9 out of 10 guy, but if you smell like shit, you're gonna be a 1 out of 10 guy. It's an instant L. It's game over for you. So you must prioritize your scent, and this is exactly how you do it. Let's start with something that most people overlook when it comes to smelling good, and that is your living space. Your living space can have a huge impact on how you smell. If your house has a distinct smell, like from smoke or cooking certain foods, then that smell will eventually stick to your clothes and you'll carry it with you wherever you go. And the same goes for your dirty bed sheets. The smell will cling on to everything you wear. So look at your bedroom, look at your bathroom. When was the last time you cleaned it? When was the last time you changed your bed sheets? Do you have a habit of smoking in your room? So before you do anything else, clean up your living space. You'll not only smell fresher, but the act of cleaning your room has a whole lot of benefits, which will make a a huge difference in your life. How many times do you brush your teeth every day? If the answer is not two, then your breath probably stinks. And you know what's worse? Nobody is gonna tell you that you have bad breath. So you might live your entire life with bad breath and not even know about it. So brushing your teeth twice a day is a non-negotiable. It's the least you should do to prevent bad breath. In addition to brushing, flossing your teeth will help remove those leftover food particles from your teeth and cleaning your tongue will get rid of the countless bacteria that is living on your tongue. And when you are cleaning your tongue, ensure that you get the back of your tongue as well. Also, a very important tip, keep some mints with you, especially when you're outside. That way, you can quickly pop one in after a meal to ensure that your breath always smells fresh. And when you're inside, you can use an alcohol-free mouthwash. Taking a shower every day is important, but what's even more important is how you take a shower and what you do after taking a shower. There are certain parts of our body, such as the armpits and intimate areas, that need special attention when we shower. Because these are places that can get moist pretty quickly, and because of that, it becomes a favorable environment for bacteria to grow. And the more bacteria that grows, the worse it starts to smell. So I recommend that you use an antibacterial soap to clean those areas. And once you do that, you must dry yourself. Ensure that you're completely dry. If you don't, then you're gonna start chafing, especially down there. And then it's gonna turn into a rash and it's really gonna suck. So you wanna keep yourself dry. And one additional thing that you can do is use mild powders and antiperspirants to keep those areas dry for a longer periods of time. Essentially, what these do is that it blocks the sweat glands from secreting sweat. That way, you'll be dry, there'll be no chafing, no irritations, and you won't smell bad. When it comes to your hair, there's a simple protocol that you can use. Shampoo your hair twice a week with a shampoo that doesn't have parabens or sulfates, because that shit is going to destroy your hair. So after you shampoo your hair, you must use a hair conditioner. The reason is, if you only shampoo your hair, then it may become dry, brittle, and prone to breaking. This is because shampooing can strip off natural oils from the hair, making it rough and tangled. That's why you use a conditioner to moisturize and replenish some of those oils back. Now, regarding how often you should wash your hair, I would recommend about two to three times every week. But if you're someone who sweats a lot, then you can wash your hair more frequently. Having just one good perfume will take your scent game to a whole new level. And when I say good perfume, I am talking about expensive perfume. Perfumes. Basically, instead of buying four cheap perfumes, you buy one expensive perfume. It doesn't have to be ridiculously expensive, no, just a little more expensive than what you usually buy. So once you have your perfume, how do you use it? It's quite simple. One spray each on both of your wrists, one spray on either side of your neck, and one spray on the back of your neck. So in total, you're gonna do five sprays. And that's all you need, because these are the hot spots of the body, which will allow allow the scent to develop around you. It'll be like having a fragrant aura around you. And people will notice that, especially girls. If you have a lot of body hair, especially in your armpits and your private parts, then trimming them will help you a lot. Because hair traps a lot of moisture. And so the more hair you have, the more moisture gets trapped. And with more moisture comes more bacteria and more body odor. So if you have a lot of body hair, get a trimmer and start trimming it. I'm going to give you a short list of foods and drinks which can 
or will cause you to smell bad. Obviously, I'm not asking you to stop consuming them, but do be wary about them. Okay, so garlic, onions, and spicy food can cause a noticeable body odor. Foods that are high in protein, such as red meat, can also contribute to body odor. Certain vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage can cause issues for some people. Sweetened soft drinks is another culprit. And of course, alcohol is obviously going to cause problems. Once again, I'm not asking you to eliminate these entirely, although it would be great if you do that. But do keep these things in mind and try to control them as much as you can. Now, I want to talk about stress because stress can make you smell bad. When we get stressed, our body releases sweat. And at this point, I'm pretty sure you know the rest. Additionally, stress can lead to changes in the balance of bacteria on our skin, which can also contribute to body odor. So you want to eliminate stress as much as you can. And I will create a practical guide on doing exactly that in the future. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I've given you a few tips that you can use to smell good. If I were you, I would start doing the basics properly. You know, brushing, flossing, cleaning your tongue, and taking a shower. Once you make these things a habit, then you can slowly add the other things on top of it. And that's when your results are really gonna compound and you're gonna smell amazing. 